Potato is a very popular side around the holidays, but we've got a healthier alternative to that. Alex Gingrich is a chef with Maine Health. Thanks so much for coming into our Omain studio. It's my pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. So one of the topics that we've been discussing with you mm -hmm. is making sort of healthier options for people, especially around the holidays, especially for people who may be struggling with diabetes. Absolutely. So lowering overall calorie content, sugars, um, using healthier proteins, taking vegetable dishes that like sweet potatoes that would normally be high sugar, you know, grandma's kind of with the right. brand, heavy brown sugar. <laughs> on Loaded with uh, the butter. And we're going to roast it. So that's going to bring out the sweetness of the potato and that's going to keep um, from having to add an additional amount of sugar to it. So this is what we're going to do here today. We're going to um, take a little bit of olive oil here. We've got some fresh sweet potatoes, which I've peeled and cut into about a uh, quarter of an inch uh, slices. And we're going to use a standard muffin tin to make these. Kids can help with this at home if it's something that you want to do. Obviously, you want to do this hot preparation first to get them out of the way. And this recipe, first of all, calls for um, all butter. But what we're going to do is we're going to only use enough butter to, to uh, bring that flavor in that we're looking mm. for. And we're going to start with olive oil. So we're going to do that. So the oil Oops. makes it a little Sorry, bit healthier. It does. The, right. Yeah. And that's going to, we're going to melt that down a little bit. We're going to add some garlic in there. And the garlic is just going to cook for us. And we're not going, we're not going to reserve the garlic. We're going to put that aside. And we're going to take fresh sage leaves. And we're going to drop them right in there. So a lot of this right now, you're just kind of flavoring the oil and the butter. Correct. That's absolutely right. And fresh sage, you know, just has a beautiful smell to it. Oh, yeah. So we'll let that go a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a paper towel on a plate to put the sage leaves onto. And then we'll strain out the rest of the garlic here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull these and just lay them on here. And those will become our garnish at the end. Okay. And then we'll take and we'll just strain this liquid into it. So you want to make sure to keep that garlic out. Right, we're going to reserve the garlic in this case because when it roasts too long, it's going to have a strong and potentially bitter flavor. Oh. So we've got the butter we need to work with. And now what we're going to do is we have salt and Parmesan cheese. We're going to take the potatoes and naturally they'll, they taper end to end. So we'll put the smaller ends in first because they'll fit in the bottom. And we're going to put two slices into each one of these. This is where the kids can jump in and yeah, help Yeah, absolutely. And we'll put just a little bit, we're gonna spread this out amongst all the different ones. It does not have to be directly in the center. When the heat hits it, it's gonna migrate to the bottom of the pan. We're gonna sprinkle Parmesan. And it already smells good. So, now, one yeah. of the messages that you wanted people to know is that it's good to try to do healthier options, especially around the holidays, because, you know, it's when you put on that holiday weight, it's so hard to take Absolutely. it off. Yeah. And, you know, it, eating at a family gathering, typically it's you want to try it. some of everything, mm -hmm. you, you know, and you overload that plate if it's buffet style or the big family style bowls come around. And it is. It can be very difficult. So what you're eating is just as much or more important than the amount that you're putting on your plate. So you want to make sure that you have a good balance there. So just pouring a little bit of yep. oil on the top. That oil and then we're going to go again with the Parmesan. No brown sugar in this recipe. No in this one. Okay, and then just a little, we're just using a little pinch of salt to give it a little bit of flavor. And then we're going to cover that with foil. I'll we'll go in an oven probably about 350 degrees. It takes 25 to 30 minutes, depending on the thickness of the slices of potatoes. Okay. Okay. Then when we're done, you pop them out and you get this beautiful side dish that you can individually consume. And uh, it's very nice. And what we'll do is we're going to garnish with a little bit of, I have some sage there if you want to couple, put a couple of pieces on there. Yeah. Some of the sage with, is this, there's That's there the garlic? crispy sage that like we did with the, with the garnish here that I had done in a previously. All right. Oh my gosh, this smells so good too. Yeah. You just garnish and a little the, bit here. Yeah. And then to give the plate just a little bit of an extra color. 
we'll this do that. This looks fancy for very minimal effort, Very too. simple to be fancy sometimes, <laughs> absolutely. That looks awesome. Alex, thank you so much for coming in and it's showing us pleasure. how to make this. And you can find the recipe on the 207 section of our website. And we